G'day lads and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza. I'm Jazza and this is a video tutorial on painting eyes in Photoshop and getting into those nitty gritty details that make them look really cool. Now this is one video part of several other videos in which I paint the painting that we're going to be looking at. Uh, if you want to look at the other videos and check out the topics in which we look at uh, there, you can click the link on the left, the annotation there, or uh, the link in the description which goes back to the painting in Photoshop tutorial set. Or if you want to watch the whole thing uh, being painted and sped up and watch the whole thing in a few minutes, you can click the annotation on the right uh, to view the finished product or, you know, the link in the description. So getting straight into it, this is what we've got so far. We've got our uh, mostly shaded character and we're going to be going in here where the eyes are. Now this should be fun because eyes are cool. You can add a lot of detail very quickly and it adds a lot of drama to the picture. Now I'm going to show my line work layer with a low opacity. Now I have uh, a layer set aside for where the eyes are going to go. And I'm going to just rename this from other to eyes. And I open it up and what I've got here is just a white uh, bit of, you know, colored area essentially. So, you know, it's erasable. It's pretty straightforward. So it's just a white fill area. And I'm going to be use the, using this as a clipping mask. Now, uh, if you want to learn more about what I mean when I say clipping mask, again, check out the other videos in this tutorial set because there's one specifically dedicated to it. But it essentially means that we can draw uh, inside this eye without going over the edges. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another layer uh, and I'm going to create a place specified for the eyeball. So I'm going to, uh, whoops, I shouldn't have my brush hard. I'm going to fill in this just with a pitch black and draw where my eyeball is going to go and where it's facing. I'm going to paint this and I'm not going to use this as a clipping mask because the whites of the eyes and the eye itself, they're going to have both their own separate clipping masks. So first things first, we need to make sure that he feels like he's looking in the right direction. So after I draw and finish refining the position of that, I zoom out and that looks pretty good to me. I think maybe I need a little more body on the left eyeball bit. So I'll just bring the edge down, take a look at that and I'm happy with that. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to create a new layer and add a clipping mask connected to the eye, the uh, where the pupils go. So if I select a random color, uh, let's make his eyes blue. I'm going to go a darkish blue around here. Now when I paint there, you can see that that's what a clipping mask does. It keeps everything nice and neatly constrained inside itself. So you don't paint over the lines. So I'm going to get my brush. I'm going to bring the opac opacity down to around 20. And I'm going to paint around this sort of donut color where the blue is. So it's a bit of a donut. There we go. That's the first part done. We paint our donut. Make sure we our brush has, uh, whoops, the edges are actually hard there. So I did that wrong, um, but it turned out all right. So you want a soft edge brush to do the beginnings of the donut with. Now I don't want it too strong. I think that's a bit too bright. So I'm gonna bring the opacity down and that's the base. Now I'm going to add another layer, add it to the clipping mask. I'm going to bring my brush down to about three in size, keep the hardness down, bring the opacity up to around 50. And with my color picker, I'm going to select a, a, a mid to bright tone for the blue. And I'm going to go like this. I'm going to add lots and lots of little lines. I'll zoom in so you can see exactly what I'm doing. I'm just adding lots of little lines fanning out from the center of the eye. So I want to layer them so that it just fills the eye. And I'm going to do that on both. And that adds kind of a, an illusion of a gradient. And next I'm going to add another layer to the clipping mask. I'm going to go a nice bright blue. I'm going to bring down my brush size. I'm going to be more conservative here. So I'm going to uh, I'll bring the opacity up, but we're just going to do fewer lines. So we're just going to keep them more focused 
and central and just kind of do a few around the edge there. And the eyes are fun. I wanted to do a separate video on this because uh, I knew it would be a pretty quick sort of tutorial, but it, you know, it's kind of really fun when you figure out how to do it. They make the whole thing look very different very quickly. Okay, so that's the basics set up. Now what I want to do is make sure that I have a solid pupil. So I'm going to get my eraser and go through those layers I drew and just erase it so that I have a solid whoops, pupil there. Like this. Erase. Erase. Same thing over here. Erase. 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 Now the last things we have to do are adding uh, shadows and highlights to the whites of the eyes and the eye itself. So I'm going to go for the whites of the eyes first and I can hide my line work layer here because I no longer need a reference. I'm going to go into the whites of the eyes layer that I have here, create a clipping mask and attach it. And I'm going to find a color that I want to be off white. So I usually go to this mid uh, area between orange and yellow and then find a nice sort of khaki white yellow around here and get a brush with low hardness and low opacity and paint all around the edges. I think I need to bring that out a bit more. Now whites, uh, eyes are never that bright white so we slowly kind of bring it down to a mid-tone and this is the first layer of shading that we're adding and we're going to add more. So that's the first. I'm going to add another one, add it to the clipping mask, go darker and keep it nice and khaki and keep the shading closer to the edges now because we don't want to go all the way in. And that's about as far in as I want to go on both of the eyes uh, for the broad shadowing. And now we're going to go for an extra dark bit, but we're going to bring the brush size down, opacity up, and we're just going to do, oops, I should make it harder as well. And we're just going to do the edge under here like that. Same thing for the other side. That's adding shadow from the lid and eyebrow of the eye. There we go. And I'm going to do another one of those just to make it nice and dark. Okay, because we tend to think of our eyes as, you know, white and, you know, not holding shadow, but they really do. Okay. So I've done the whites of the eyes. I'm going to go back into my layer with the eyeballs, the pupil thingies, and I'm going to add another layer to my clipping mask there. I'm going to make it black. I'm going to make sure my brush is nice and soft and large with a low opacity, and I'm going to paint in just up the top here. And just kind of create this disappearing shadow, but it's, it's kind of holding the top of the eyeball. And now what that did, and I can hide it and show it, you can see that the eye is kind of pushed back into the eyeball. Okay, so adding that shadow on top of those blue colors we did keeps it and makes it look like it's on the same sort of wavelength as the, uh, the eyeball itself. And then the very last thing that we do for the eyes is the highlights. And this is always a really nice thing to do. So we get our white, just a pure white, bring our brush to a, a medium small size, hardness on full, opacity on full, and we find a few little spots that we want highlights to be. Now these highlights are in theory, uh, because we're creating the illusion of, a, of a, a location and a character here, in theory they're reflecting lights in a place that he's in. So you want them to be consistent in both eyes. So if I've, I've done one larger ball here and a little wall here and a little uh, pivot of light over here, I do the same thing on this side. So a large, oops, a large one. I'll tip off, cut off the edge because it's in the shadow. And a smaller one, and then a little pivot over here. Now, as you can see, if I zoom out, it kind of holds its own as is, but I want to make it so it mixes well with the blue. So if I select here in my uh, overlay selector thing, I don't know what you call that, color settings, and I'm going to tap down until I find what I'm looking for, which is around here. So soft light and overlay work really well. I'm going to go with soft light. And uh, that transforms it from just being a solid white 
to something that alters the color and still shows the reflection. Okay, now if I zoom out and show all, I think uh, the eyes are a little bit too blue. So I'm gonna bring down the color intensity of the eyes. And this is just a really fun, simple process. All I do is add another clipping mask layer and hit paint bucket and paint white or black, doesn't matter. And in the same color selector thing, I hit color and you can see now it's black and white. I just change the opacity. So as I drag it up and down, it removes or adds intensity to the color of the eye. Now I'm gonna bring this under. So hang on, I'll hide that for now and I'll hide that shading layer and you can see I've got two layers with the lines. So I'm gonna drag that black and white layer between them so that the topmost layer isn't black and white and the layer underneath is. So that way the top one holds a little more color than the basic run of lines that I did first. And now when I zoom out and show all, I've got a nicely drawn balanced eye with lots of little detail and it really did not take us long to do. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoy my videos. You can download the reference files from this tutorial by clicking the link in the description. And remember to share any art, animation or game you make on Newgrounds.com. Until next time, see you later.